This is the Blue Rams Dome Light 2, and this is the second best selling camera at Amazon. And today, we'll find out why. Hello, guys, Lifehackster here. I've been browsing Amazon lately and I clicked on their best sellers in their camera and photo category. And the first five in the list are dominated by Wi Fi cameras. The Wise cameras are a no brainer, and I'm surprised on number two and three. And I'm more interested in the Blue Rams though because it is recording in 2K quality. So this is what I'm going to check out today, and it seems like it has pretty good reviews. We'll check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set it up, check out its video and audio quality, and run our usual tests, including motion tracking, which this Blue Rams Dome Light 2 is able to do. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. For features, this is a pan and tilt camera and has a 355 degree pan and 95 degree tilt. Aside from local microSD card recording, Blue Rams offers 24-hour loop recording to the cloud for free. You will have an option to sign up for their cloud recording just like other companies. But this 24-hour event recording is always free, which is nice. Plus, just insert a microSD card up to a 128GB card and you can even set this to record 24-7. This camera records in 2K resolution, 2304 by 1296 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second. It has a 109 degree diagonal field view. It has two-way talk and siren, and also has motion tracking. And it is compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, if this then that, and even has a shortcut for Siri so that the app will load up on your phone hands-free. Aside from detecting motion, it does have AI human detection and also sound detection. It does have other features which their website doesn't show, but I'll show it to you when we check out the settings in the app. Inside the box, we have the dome camera itself. We have the camera lens and the mic, infrared LED somewhere here, and this part tilts up and down. And if you tilt it all the way up, you will see the micro SD card slot, and you can put in up to a 128GB card. We have a status light here in the front, and on the back, we have the speaker, the micro USB port for power, and the reset switch. The dome part rotates 355 degrees and tilts 95 degrees. On the bottom, you'll have a screw notches if you want to install this in a ceiling. What else is inside the box? We have a quick start guide, mounting template, we have 2 meters or 6.5 feet of micro USB cable, and a power adapter, 5 volts, 1 amp. Let's set this up. First, we'll insert a micro SD card. Download, sign up, and log into the Blue Rams app. Click the plus sign to add device. Choose the dome light too. Plug it in using the micro USB cable, which it will do a self check and wait for the status light to flash red. Type in your Wi Fi credentials, and as you can see, this only supports 2.4 GHz Wi Fi. Click next, which it will generate a QR code that you need to show the camera. And now the camera is connected. Let's set this up in my living room and check out these settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see this snapshot from the camera. Click on it to get to live view, which loads up pretty quick. In here, you can change the video quality, take a snapshot or record the live view, listen in, and you can expand to full view. On the bottom, you will see the timeline. And I set this with the recordings on the micro SD card, but you can also switch it to the cloud recordings if you prefer, which it will have little thumbnails. You can scroll up to view the recorded events. On the bottom here, you can activate the siren, start to wait talk, which is full duplex, and control the camera with PTZ, which will have a joystick so you can move the camera side to side, up or down. You can also generate a panoramic view if you want. Then we have preset positions, and you can save this position, and you can move the camera to another position and click the preset again to add it. And just click on the thumbnail to go to the position that you want to view. For the camera settings, click the gear icon where you can turn on and off the camera. And one cool feature is that you can schedule off times. And when the camera is off, it will tilt all the way up so as to hide the camera lens for privacy. Now you can schedule this for the camera to be off when you and your family are around and only turn on at nighttime or when nobody is at the house. We have notifications for basic motion detection where we have motion zones, which is a grid type, and you can adjust the sensitivity from low, normal, or high. We also have AI human detection and you can turn on rich notifications so that you'll also get a thumbnail of the motion event. And we also have sound detection and you can adjust the sensitivity from low to high. 
and we have notification frequency on how often you want to be notified from every minute to every hour. We have service which are subscription based and which we will not talk about in this video. These are optional. We have quality and bandwidth which is also the setting in the live view. We have night vision settings, rotate the image for ceiling install and storage. You can toggle on and off cloud recording and remember this comes with the free 24-hour event loop recording to the cloud. And we have the SD card status if you inserted one and with the SD card you can set this camera to also record 24-7. And we have other settings like motion tracking which we'll test out later on. Well time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of Blue Ram's Dome Light. Two. And this uh, lights off and it's still daytime and I have my blinds open. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. Now this is the video quality of the Blue Rams Dome Light 2 and this with my blinds closed and no lights. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. This is the video quality for the Blue Rams Dome Light 2 at night. And uh, my lights are on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. The video quality for the Blue Rams uh, Dome Light 2 at night and this with the night vision turned on and uh, I can see 6 infrared LED and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed for the Blue Rams Dome Light 2. And I've only set the notification for human detection. And it's 1027 and I'm on my LTE connection. So let's check it out. <laughs> there you go. There's the notification and if you click and hold, there is a snapshot preview and here you can activate the siren or voice call or you can just click on this and it should go to the live view. Cool. I've set the notification interval to the minimum which is one minute so it's been it's 1029 so it's been more than a minute so let's check out the cool off notification cool off for the Blue Rams Dome Light 2. That's quicker now, and it is still has the uh, rich notifications, as you can see me right there. Cool. I'm just testing the motion tracking. Yeah, it does follow me. Oh, I, no, it lost me. You move too fast. You can outrun it. This is the audio quality coming out of Blue Rams Dome Light 2. This is the audio quality coming out from Blue Rams Dome Light 2. Show Blue Rams Dome Light. Okay. Cool. Stream Dome Camera in Google Hub. Sure. Streaming the Dome Camera on Google Hub. Hey Siri, 
show blue rams dome light camera hmm, that's cool so what do you think i think this deserves the number two spot at least for the best sellers at amazon just for the features that you are going to get video and audio quality are pretty good pretty accurate in human detection and its features are not crippled by the subscription. Subscription is optional and you really don't need it. You will get the 24 hours free anyways and at least the backup just in case your camera and the SD card's footage is compromised. And I also like that you can schedule the on and off times which helps with people who are not keen in putting up cameras inside their house. Now they can just schedule it for the camera to turn on and off at different times of the day automatically. My only complaint, and it's a minor one, and other companies like Eufy does this too, is their in-app ads. Especially the 3 seconds skippable in your face ad before it opens up the main app page when you initially open up the app for the day. Well that's it for this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.